how I've developed what we're doing, you know, in our organization and how, you know, as a, as a group collectively, we are developing these guys as an athletic development. Um, it reaches a lot of different things, you know, and, and, and once again, Dr. Matt Frakes, <clears throat> our, our, our lead dietitian here, um, he's literally right next door to me. He could probably hear every word I'm saying right now. And, uh, and, it, and it's, that's how I chose it. You know, prior to us being here, uh, the person in that position was upstairs and away from the group. And I just, I don't believe in that. You know, I want, <clears throat> I want all the influencers, you know, as close to the team as possible. So on a daily basis, as you, as you've seen, um, Matt's Dr. Frakes is in the lifts. Like he's there and he looks like a strength coach. So it doesn't, he can't he hide. Looks, so he <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's he's way, seen it. he's, he's yeah. Like Oh, at least. Yeah. And, and, and that helps and, and his assistance. And, and, you know, I, I try to, you know, I want to make sure that we're not all hiding and, and do we all have jobs to do and, and in particular, you know, expertise? Yes. But, you know, we're all here collectively to work together to make sure that these guys, you know, have the best path to success on Saturdays. And that's what it's all about. So that diet, uh, you know, athletic training, like I said, mental performance, performance innovation, sports science, obviously your boy, um, right along with us. And, and that's everybody. And, and, and I, you know, I'm at the, 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 the place right now where, you know, I, I am the lead communicator, if you will, on all these pillars. Um, so all those people I just mentioned, I am, you know, we meet, I call, a, I call our group the foundation. So I have uh, our, our, our email uh, group is named the foundation. So, you know, we are the foundation of the organization without all of us basement people that, as you know, put in the, the daily work with the, with the student athletes, um, you know, it, the, the organization will move forward. So we need all of us on the same page and working together. And obviously it starts from the top. It starts from, from Coach Kelly and, you know, it, I've been with him for 20 years. Like it's just, I kind of, you know, <laughs> I've been with her for 22 years. Oh, okay. So we were together in high school. So 20, I might be wrong on that. What's the math? 2000, 2001, a long time. So married for 15 and beyond that. So maybe it's 24. I, don't, I have no idea. Long, long enough where we're, uh, we're good. She's the, she's the only reason that I walked on the team at Central Michigan. She was basically like, Hey, you're soft as hell. If you don't freaking try to do this, you know, cause I know you want to do something in college. Like you want to play a sport, don't you? I was like, yeah, I think so. She was like, well, do it, you, you know, soft ass. Um, so I did, you know, and then uh, I guess the rest is history. Um, but it's truly where it starts from is Coach Kelly. You know what I mean? I mean, he he provides us and me the opportunity to do this. And he, when he, you know, got this job and said, Jake, let's roll, he said, who do you need? And I already had told him. So it was already on his desk. He knew who, to, who I needed. And he just said, all right, let's go get him. And, uh, Hired all my people, and uh, you know, from there we're just trying to continue to grow. Yeah, shout out Coach Kelly because I mean, again, seeing from a ten thousand foot view, uh, you know, you guys' interaction when he was there, like it just seemed, I said, it just seemed like a strength coach's dream, and I think just about everybody saw it. And whether you'll admit it or not, I'll call it strength coach porn because when I saw, I think the DC was the one that was like pulled up the catapult report and was like, yeah. this is like. Yeah, like that's just awesome. And that's the thing, you know, I meet with Coach Kelly daily uh, during the season. In the off season, we're talking all the time. And it's the integration, like what we do here, uh, you know, really with my vision, if you will, and, and Scott being a, a large, Scott Kuhn, my manager of applied sports science, a large driver into how we organize things and visualize things and you get in front of them. And there's always like, I'll just, both of us will just be like, I want to see this. Like, I don't, you know, I'm an OG sports scientist at, at, at Notre Dame. When I was there, you know, starting in 2014, we started grabbing some of these, you know, technologies and some of these you know, data, you know, integrations within our program. And I was like, I want, I want to learn how to do this. I want to, you know, broaden my skill set. I just was intrigued at it. And then I just kind of fell into it and, and was the guy that, happened to take the, the lead on all these things that we ended up getting, you know, velocity, you know, base barbell tracking, uh, GPS, you know, sleep monitoring, you know, mega wave, all these things we got over the time. And I was like, yeah, I'll learn how to do that. I have no idea. I'm not very smart. I'll just figure it out. So but anyways, having Scott here, you know, I, I'm not very smart. So that's why I got him. Um, I just try to say like, Hey, this, 
I think I want to see this. And uh, what's it look like? And then he'll go, you know, he'll go crazy. And 30 minutes later, he'll yell from two offices down, hey, Jay. And then we'll get together and, you know, it's a good thing. And we'll look at it and then, you know, I'll present it to Coach Kelly and rock and roll. And then hopefully it leads to success. And so far, we've done okay. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I did actually count this week because Coach Kelly, uh, if we happen to have success on Saturday, will be uh, – He'll have his 300th win as a head coach. And I, I saw something. It was online. Like, there's only 12 football coaches ever in any division that has that many wins. And so I was like, I wonder how many I've been a part of. And so actually, I'm 170. I've been a part of. I, I haven't you know, hopefully provided some kind, something to it. But uh, So I'll be at 171, you know, God willing, after this weekend. So. It's got to mean something. I got to see. You know, I, I think I know what it looks like at least. Yeah, you know what it looks like a little bit. And to anybody that's listening that didn't have the prior knowledge that I have, that I'm going to share with you, one of the funniest things that I, I'll never forget from our encounter the first time we met was when you were like, "Yeah, I practiced football," and then you interrupted yourself and said, "Yeah, I played, but I didn't actually play in the game, so I just practiced." Yeah, I'm quite a uh, obviously being a father of six, and you know I got a lot of dad jokes or just whatever you want to call it. My humor is. I can go any way you want, really. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with who I am, and you can tell I like to have a good time and like to kind of just, you know, be who you are. And uh, But that's, you know, I try to always – that's one of the things I say in front of the recruits all the time. And they like, what are you talking about? What, what does that mean? And I'm like, I'm a walk-on. I didn't play. Like, do you get it? Like, this is who I am. So I, I've basically been the same size since I was in seventh grade, and this is just what I am. And, you know, I try hard. I tried hard, you know, damn. You know, and I got a scholarship for one year, but it's – purely on my ability to coach the guys that actually had the ability. Um, so, anyways. How do you utilize that personality to, like you said, you were coaching guys as a player, and now you're the, I'm not calling you the head of the foundation, if that's what you want to call it, whatever. But that's what I am. Okay, there you go. You are. Okay. How do you utilize that personality to bring everybody together? Because, like you said, there are long hours, and there's nothing wrong with doing yeah. all of those hard work and stuff together. How do you use that to, to, to build the camaraderie within the foundation? Well, I think one, you know, I've, I've experienced a lot of success. I've experienced a lot of things with Coach Kelly. And that kind of, I guess, gives me instant respect or whatever you want to call it, you know, credit, street cred right away that I, I know or at least can, can pretty much come to a conclusion on what he wants because that's where it starts, you know. You know, I know that we're all going to have our expertise, like I said, and, and say in what we do as, as an organization. But, you know, I got a pretty good ear to Coach Kelly and at least a, a line of communication at the least. And and then from there, he is driving me to make sure that, you know, we have success and, and these different, you know, pillars, if you will, or whatever you want to call them, are doing their jobs. And so, you know, I think that doing that and having, you know, who I am as far as like people know that I will work. Like I am, like I said, I'm a grunt. Like I don't know anything else but to put my head down and work, not really say a word. I don't like to talk that much. I just want to get the job done. Um, but I also, you know, I think I have a personality that people are okay with coming to me, you know, and having, cause I tell them like, listen, I want to know what you're thinking. Don't just, I don't want in, in any of my guys, I don't want to just, you guys say yes, yes. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Cause shit, half the time, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like. Does this look good? You got to tell me, man. Should we be running? Is this three sets of five, three sets of eight, a hundred? What are you, just let me know. Like, if I'm off, let me know. And I think that that's why, you know, bias, I think my staff and my guys and my, my, my people around me are so good because they, they know that and they're not afraid to, to speak up when, you know, when prompted because I, I need help. We all need help. And, and that's where I think both my personality, if you will, is inviting enough for that, but also it's like, this is the standard and and I'm going to live up to it harder than anybody else. I'm going to do the right things. I'm going <clears> to <throat> be here early. I'm going to tie my shoes. I'm on the floor. I'm going to boom, 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 You know, it, all these things that we talk about and preach. The only thing I'm missing is I don't sleep. We talk about sleep a lot. I can't sleep that much due to some of those factors I was speaking to earlier. A lot of kids and homework. I don't know, man, seventh grade math. I thought I was good at math, but it's like relearning maybe it's the way that they teach it these days it's insane i mean i think i failed the test for one of my fourth or my fourth grade daughter she came home and had a bad grade and katie's like did you study with her i was like oh yeah and i was like i, I didn't know what a subject or a predicate was like what's going on with this so anyways uh yeah. so 
all those things. I, I, th I think that that's, I think that that, you know, can provide a structure that, you know, listen, everybody knows the same and I'm, and I'm over communicative. Like I, this is what we need. This is what I want. You don't got to talk. You just got to do it. And so let's work together to get there. For any of our listeners that might be heads of departments like you are, and they might have heard all that and they're like, okay, that's, you're speaking to my soul about being a people person. How do you balance being a people person, but still kind of like you just said, holding the line and not wanting to upset people? You know what I mean? Like, how do you handle that? Yeah. I mean, uh, like I said, I just think there is a standard and we, we, we want to have success and congratulations on making it to the end of the video why don't you celebrate by watching more videos just like it you can also help us on our quest to placate the algorithm gods by liking sharing subscribing and commenting thank you